Hello everybody, this is Nia Feiler. I'm here with a weekly astrological message, this time for the week between the 19th and the 28th of March 2021. This is where I talk about celestial transits that affect all of us, all zodiac signs. I want to remind you all that my 30% special COVID on all readings and courses is going to expire pretty soon, so if you want to utilize it, go ahead and contact me. Um, I know some of you have contacted me by mail. I've been sick like a dog for the past month and a half. First COVID, then my immune system was so down, I caught like three different viruses at once. I know some of you are still waiting. I'm going to get back to you. Um, it's the first day that my nose is actually clear. I thought it's never going to be clear. I thought I'm always going to be hanging around with this around me. <laughs> but I feel better. Yeah. Um, so, what's happening in the sky? We are heading towards a full moon in Libra. I mean, the energies are going to intensify up to next Sunday. And this is a full moon in Libra opposing Venus and Chiron. So, basically... You know, and, and we have some other effects like Mercury squaring Mars by the end of the week. We have Mercury sextiling Uranus by the beginning of this week. And we have the Sun conjunct Venus and, and, and uh, Chiron, of course. So this all boils down to really being a more dangerous week in the sense of spilling out words we might be sorry for, might do some harm. We have to be more careful with how we verbalize and communicate. Make sure that we understand exactly what was said and that we are understood. It is a time to be more careful when we're cutting salad, when we're exercising, when we are on the road. It's a time prone for accidents, road accidents, car accidents, automotive accidents. So really, it's a week to be more careful about our whole navigation through the world and society. Um, and sextiling Uranus allows us to be more flexible and accept the new and upgrade it into our life. To understand that this brave new world is not as bad and cold as harsh as we once thought it might be or dreaded it might be, that we could actually enjoy the excitement and ride this wave to places we've never taken ourselves before. And this new moon about Chiron and, 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 this, and, and the Sun and Venus all together illuminating this moon <coughs> in Libra is an awakening, an awakening and an understanding. It's an understanding of how hurt we are, how delicate the situation really is, how fragile the situation really is, whether it is our relationship with nature, our relationship with land and, 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 and food, oops, sorry for that, land and food and drink and our own bodies and our own senses and our own self-value and money, economy, you know, our assets, how we draw income, how tough this year had been and, and how dire do we need an upgrade and so on with the other side of Venus, which comes to the value we don't gain by ourselves, but we gain by other people, relationships, maybe finding a true love, maybe needing that healthy relationship in your life or a better relationship, maybe healing our social arena that's been suffering through this year of COVID. And on that sense, I want to tell you everybody, Happy New Astrological Year. You know, the equinox is the new astrological year. And um, so astrologically, the energies of 2020 are only ending now. We're only now separating from all that slime and entering a new year. And that's important to know. I mean, it's refreshing. <clears throat> so let's go down through the days and talk about it. Friday the 19th, not a stable day. It's, um, you know, Mercury squaring the moon, Mars on the moon. <sighs> um, again, be careful with what you say and how you move around. It's a good day to actually progress things with work and career-wise before the weekend. Saturday the 20th is the March equinox. It's a wonderful day to do some visualizations or ceremonies especially outside in nature maybe something artistic or spiritual can be very illuminating and fruiting in this day sun 
Sunday the 21st Venus steps into Aries for the next four weeks it's a time that we could be more bold we, we, we have a harder time to actually put off what we need and what we want our cravings become more immediate we become more childlike and intolerant yes Georgia hello you want to say something <laughs> Um, and Mercury is sextiling Uranus on that day exactly it's an effect we feel throughout the week we've talked about it Monday the 22nd the planet of energy Mars is being tried by Saturn the strategic old judge you know in charge of career and growing up and maturing and responsibility and this is a wonderful aspect it allows us to actually build our life consistently and over a long period of time and have a strategic value to our efforts and energies not to just you know spend it all out at once and 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 that's it you know but actually build a base that would serve us and benefit us over a long period of time and that's a great aspect to have it strengthen us and empowers us to be um, more um, capable good day the 22nd uh, Tuesday the 23rd from the second half of the day Eastern European time it becomes much more obsessive and compulsive step away from your feelings and look at them don't act by them uh, Tuesday the 23rd I'm sorry Wednesday the 24th Mercury um, squares Mars this is the aspect I've been talking about we need to be more careful on the roads how we speak and so on and so forth and Mercury is also squaring the, the, the dragons and, and and Mars is on the north node so it's very powerful there's a lot of energies there right Georgia yes you agree um, this is not a day to be too judgmental this is not a day to be co too cold and harsh and Thursday the 25th don't overdo things know when to put to draw the limit and then Friday the 26th the Sun is conjunct Venus good day for business good day for love good day for money good day for enjoyment and Saturday the 27th not stable uh, not emotionally not with communication it's uh, again a more delicate day and there's so much energies around as we are led to the Sunday 28th full moon in Libra con and and the Sun conjunct Venus conjunct Chiron illuminating it from the other side it's a powerful full moon and it's a full moon that initiates and ignites changes both in how we treat ourselves how we draw funds and money and value and the relationships in our life so I hope you really liked it I hope you like I'm keeping it short and concise and not speaking for an hour and a half about things and I want to tell you I love you I love your comments you make me feel good about making these videos and sending them out may we all live long and prosper. This is Nia Finer. Goodbye. And Georgia.